everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Simon from Homesite, and today we're going to be talking about the Shelly 1L. However, I'll also touch on the Shelly 1. Now, what we're going to be looking at is how to do two-way switching, because it seems to cause a lot of problems. Let's go! So I've had various requests from people about my Shelly 1L video and how to wire it without neutral, but often they've been around actually the two-way switching part. They figured out the, how the bypass works thanks to the video one, but now they're stuck because they've got the two light switches installed already and they want them both to control the Shelly. And I've seen almost daily posts on various different Facebook groups about how to do two-way switching. And even this guy, the MD of Shelly has put out a diagram. However, People use this, they send it back in, you see it reposted, however it's still not quite clear for some people how it's meant to work. So what I'm going to do today is explain how two-way switching works and then do a practical demonstration with two different options on how to do it. Now hopefully you've li you'll like this video, hopefully you'll subscribe to my page and you won't miss out on any great future videos. So first of all, I'm going to say, if you're messing around with electrics, you should really be a qualified electrician, or at least have a level of competency to make sure that you're not going to hurt yourself or others. Now, this is how a UK standard, and I say standard, now there's lots of different standards sometimes. Now, this is one of the standards of a UK lighting circuit with two-way switching. Now, we've got a supply coming in with our neutral on blue and our brown live, and that's coming into a loop and out again onto the next light. Now our neutral here you can see is going straight to our bulb and our brown, our live, is coming through to a switch live here. Now we've got our two switches down here at the bottom and we've got a loop which is our a permanent live coming down into L1 and this blue one here as well but it's got that brown sleeve as well just to show that it could be live as well. That's our switch live coming down to L2. Now on a switch that's compatible with two-way lighting, you will have three terminals, or at least three terminals. We'll have a common, which you will use to link using UK standard wiring, a black wire, but again it's live, or it could be live, so we put this brown sleeve on it as well. So that's linking the two commons together. And from the L1, we're linking that to the next L1 with our brown wire, and our L2 with our grey wire to our other L2. Now let's just talk through that. How does that work? So we've got our live coming from here on our brown cable onto our L2. Now you can see that at the moment that is connected to our common. So if we follow that up with our electricity coming through this common, coming back to our L1, back along this brown wire, and ultimately back to our L1. So what we haven't done is we haven't completed our circuit and put live electricity down this blue wire onto our live, onto our switch live, and ultimately to our bulb. So that, with them both in the L1 switched state, means there is no electricity getting to our bulb. So if we were to move this one over to our L2, now that would obviously be the, brown, the electricity coming down, the brown wire coming, now that's not connected to our common, but it is going to go down this other brown wire to our other switch, onto our L1 terminal, up to our common, across our black wire, down from the common to L2, ultimately onto this blue wire, which is going to complete the circuit through our switch live terminal here and onto the brown. Now, obviously, we can break that circuit by switching this one over to here, or equally, we could have switched this one back across as well. So now they're both in the same state, both on L2, that will be off. Now, if I were to switch, I've now switched this one off, if I were to switch this one on to L1, our electricity is going to come down our brown wire to L1, up to our common, across to our common, onto our L2, onto this grey wire, which comes onto our L2 here, and ultimately onto our blue wire, which is going to complete that circuit along here, up to our bulb. Now that is how two-way light switching works. And equally, you can add a third light switch as well, and it works in exactly the same way for three-way light switching. So I'm now going to walk you through how that two-way light switching works with some real light switches because I think that'll make it more contextual. So I've already prepared two light switches pre-wired with the colours we've shown earlier on. And here they are. So you can see 
We've got our common down here with our black cable wired to our common. We've got our L1 with brown wired to our L1 and gray L2 to L2. And we've got the brown and blue wires. And of course the blue wires got that brown sleeve as well to indicate that it's live. So if I flip that over, I'm gonna take my trusty multimeter and I'm gonna connect it onto this brown and blue wire with the help of a WAGO connector. Here we go, here's our WAGO connector. So I'm just gonna clamp that onto the bare wires of the brown and the blue. Now I've got my multimeter set for continuity and it should beep. There we go, so we can see that that's got connection at one end and the same for the other and I can turn it on at one end and off at the other and the same again on at one end off at the other. Great, two-way light switching, not as difficult as you might think. So that arrangement will work with the Shelly 1L, the Shelly, the Dimmer, the Shelly 2, it'll work with pretty much any device that needs continuity across two points to send a signal to then activate or deactivate the relay. So let's show it in real practical terms with a Shelly 1L. Now I mentioned I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. This is the first way. This is using those two-way light switches in exactly the same way as I've just shown you. The second way is, going to be used, is only going to be applicable for the Shelly 1L because that has two inputs. So I've already made the connection using the SW1 and the SX terminals as shown here. So this is our two-way light switching exactly as I've wired it earlier on and I can turn it on at one end and off at one end and the same at the other end on and off and I can turn it on at one end and off at the other end and vice versa on at the other end and off at one end. I told you it was easy, but now there is another way that we can do it as well on the Shelly 1L, as I mentioned, because we've got these two, we've got SW1 input and SW2 input. Now we can wire both of these light switches to those individual inputs without modifying our existing wiring too much. Now I'm gonna really quickly change the wiring here and I'm gonna show you how it works. So really simply, we're using two wires from each light switch to L1 and common, or L2 in common, it doesn't make any difference. The wire that's the gray wire in our ex earlier example connecting between the two light switches is not gonna be used. And at the far end, we're gonna be using the brown and the black, or the brown and the gray, it doesn't make any difference to get to the common and L1 and L2. Now I'm gonna include wiring diagrams for all of this as well down in the description below. And you can see this has exactly the same effect as the wiring earlier on. However, we're using the two independent inputs. So you could do all sorts of different things with it to monitor those inputs differently and do different things. I.e. one of the light switches might also send a trigger to a bunch of other lights to turn them on, whilst the first input doesn't do that and only turns on the one light. So I really hope this video has helped you. I hope that you can now get your two-way light switching working, whether that's with a Shelly product or anything else that requires a standard dry contact switch input. Now, if you're trying to use your Shelly device without a neutral, and you're wondering how to do that with one of those bypasses, if you're less than 20 watts, you'll need to make sure you use a bypass. You wanna check out my earlier Shelly 1L video and that'll explain exactly how to do that. But the same concepts are there. This, that video earlier on as well, will also show you how to do the initial setup. So I hope you've liked this video. I hope you've subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Simon from Homesite.